session. Sorry you didn't attend live, but you can watch the recording. So uh, when I was uh, in kindergarten, I was very, very small. Uh, they, we have a, a festival called uh, we have a, f a festival called uh, Halloween. Does everyone know what we do in Halloween, right? We dress up uh, like superheroes and fantasy um, uh, people, right? With, uh, people who live in just the fantasy realm. And on that day, we had a lot of sweets. Actually, not dessert. The correct word is sweets. So I don't have sweets at all. I never have sweets. Uh, but when Halloween came, I used to have one sweet a day normally. Uh, but on the day of Halloween, I had way too much sweets. What do you think happened? I probably consumed 100 to 150 sweets on one single day. Of course, I was young. I needed the energy. But what do you think happened to my stomach? Any guesses? <laughs> any guesses? Satish, Gaurav, Ajit, Seduraj, uh, Rupali, any, any guesses? Well, uh, yes, you're right. <laughs> as, as you would have guessed, um, I had a bad tummy and stomach ache. That's right, Ajit. <laughs> and and this is something that's very interesting. This is something that's very interesting. Diabetes, <laughs> Rohan says diabetes. That's right. This is something very interesting. As soon as you have excess of something, you go back to the medium, right? Uh, as soon as you have excess of something, you go back to the medium. Um, so I never had sweets again after that. For many, many years, I actually stopped having sweets. Now, this is very interesting. I also got a toothache. Yes, that's right. That's right, Nanda. I also got a toothache, right? So whenever you do something in excess, you go back to the norm. Do you all agree with this? If you smoke way too much, then you don't smoke the next day. If you drink way too much one night, you don't drink for like a week. If you... Uh, work too hard in one week, then you want like Saturday, Sunday off. Happens, right? You go to one excess and you want to come back. Now, surprisingly, uh, this is the same in stocks, right? Um, as soon as you move from excess, you come back to normal. You can see this in something called the Bollinger Bands, right? Uh, Bollinger Bands basically measure excess moves using volatility calculations. And it assumes that markets will return to normal after this. आपने कभी नोटिस किया है आपने कभी नोटिस किया है कि जिस दिन मार्केट क्रैश करती है द डे मार्केट क्रैशेस इट इमीडिएटली रिवर्सेस फॉर अ शॉर्ट पीरियड ऑफ टाइम जिस दिन मार्केट क्रैश करती है कुछ ही मिनटों में या कुछ ही एक दो दिन के लिए वापस ऊपर रिट्रेस होता है सुना है आपने डू ऑल एग्री करेक्शंस यस यस डू ऑल एग्री यस हैपेंस करेक्ट बट इफ दैट वन साइड मूव इज वेरी वेरी हार्ड then the trend will actually reverse. It's very interesting. The trend will actually reverse. And Bullinga Bands can actually help us understand this. You see this? Mene is chart ko black and white kar diya hai. It's very simple what you see in front of you. One is that you are looking at Tata Motors daily charts. Okay, everyone got it? These lines over here is the upper Bullinga Band and the lower Bullinga Band. All right? Is everyone following what I'm saying? It's very simple. Imagine that uh, this is the metro and these are people inside the metro. If someone breaks the lower compartment of the metro, the market will reverse. If someone pierces the upper side of this Bollinger Band, the markets will reverse. Do you notice it? Look at this. Markets pierced right here. Pierced means it goes beyond the Bollinger line, right? Imagine this to be a tube. So, someone punctured kar diya tube ko. Someone punctured the tube, and then it's likely the market reverses. Is everyone following me? Is everyone following me? Yes. Please type a yes uh, in caps so I know that you all understand. Yes, 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 yes. It's wonderful. Very nice. I won't reply to all your yeses because there are a lot of yeses over here. Wonderful. Okay, perfect. Now here is my task for you. I'm going to give you three minutes. No, that's too less. Thirty seconds. You have to count every single time Tata Motors pierced the lower Bollinger Band, okay? Just the lower Bollinger Band. Your time starts now.
Wonderful. So I can see a bunch of this, including the one I highlighted. Some are saying three times, five times, seven times. Interesting. I don't see an I don't see an answer from Puneet. Puneet, I need you to participate as well. <laughs> so let's see the answers. Um, let me clear the screen and let me see the answers. I think I have marked them. Boom. There it is. Uh, so we have one here very clearly the market has pierced and the market went up here the market pierced it went up but uh, retired very quickly then we got another pierce this time the market did move up look at the opposite it also works you got an upward pierce and the market fell down interesting downward pierce market went up downward pierce market went up took some time but it went up is everyone getting it yes <laughs> My guess would be three. So let's count all the times the market has actually pierced the lower line. So one right here, two right here, three right here. Chalo, let's take this as four. Perfect. That's it. That's it. You can also count this because it actually touched the lower line and you can uh, assume that it works. Does everyone agree with my markings? Four times the market. No, sorry. One, two, three, four, sorry. Five times the market touched the lower BB. Yes, everyone agrees. Perfect. Very nice. But yeah, good job for the guys who actually got all the answers. I am proud of you. Now here is um, something that I want to show you. And you guys are going to tell me, you guys are going to tell me the entry point. So Indrajit is actually right. There's one more over here. That's right here that I missed. Um, and that's it. I'm not counting the upper ones. I'm just counting the lower ones. So yes, good job. Okay. Uh, Indrajit also probably saw this as well. Bilkul sahi. Perfect. Am I right? Everyone agrees? Yes? Perfect. Now, today's webinar is going to be slightly different, guys. I am going to show you a tendency. This is a tendency, right? Market touches lower Bollinger Band and then reverses. It's a tendency. Now, if you have to put a buy rule here, look at these tendencies very carefully. What do you think will be the buy rule? You tell me. So rule number one will be market has to touch the lower Bollinger Band. Is this one day chart? Yes. Yes, I don't know. It is one day chart. Uh, the market has to touch the lower Bollinger Band. What can you make as a rule for it to say, okay, at this point I will buy. Any guesses? Anyone? Sham Sundar, come on. I know you got the answer. Simple question. First green candle after piercing says Ajit. Okay. Uh, Sedu Raj says swing high breakout. Okay. Gaurav says hammer. Wonderful. Satish says touches and enters lower BB inner line. Buy it. Okay. Fine. Crossing swing high. Okay. So let, let's do a quick. Uh, let's do a quick this thing. What do you think? Is it option number one hammer or option number two uh, touching the uh, Bollinger line or option number three crossing of swing high? What do you come on guys? Everyone should participate. Number one, is it hammer? Number two, touching of lower BB line or number three, crossing of a swing high? So Mills is all. <laughs> Shams in the two, three, three. Of course, yes, you guys are right. It's actually crossing of a swing high. It's actually the easiest thing to do. Crossing a swing high. Can you give a round of applause to yourself? Because of the power of technology, but we can both read each other's mind. Isn't that good? Good job, Rupali, Arun, Girish, Nandal, Ajit. <laughs> yes, clap, clap, clap. Clap, clap, clap. You know, a little bit of encouragement is good because it makes you feel good, right? Awesome. Great. Good job for clapping for yourself. It makes you feel good. You learn better and you become more profitable. Very good. All right. So here is the, uh, the setup that I'm going to show you. Uh, let me first define what Bollinger bands actually are. Right. So, uh, this is what these Bollinger bands are placed above and below the moving average and it's based on volatility, right? Something called standard deviation. If you have maths class in the school, I'm sure you know what standard deviation is. <laughs> Seduraj is a maths guy, so I'm sure Seduraj knows what standard deviation is. Uh, Naresh says, which trading software do you use for your trading? 
So I actually trade with a few brokers, including TradeSmart Online, uh, and I use their software. Yeah. Nan Nandlal says, I know very well. Yes. Perfect. Very nice. And uh, I trade through them. Yeah. It's very simple. Uh, the software doesn't make it the trader, actually. You know, I think what TSO has is very, very nice, and you can use that. Uh, so you have changes in volatil volatility as it increases and decreases. The bands will automatically widen if the volatility increases and will narrow as the volatility decreases. Notice, look at this. Markets went up, the band widened. Markets then went sideways, it started to narrow. Can you see that? Uh, so it helps us identify where to short. Dinesh says, which indicator do you use in day trading? To be honest, Dinesh, I actually don't use any indicator for intraday. I just use price action. Um, one of my strategies is gap down strategy, which I'll be discussing on Saturday and one is index strategy. So this is the link to that. You can have a look and we can meet in that class if you are interested to attend. So how do I copy this? Okay, here it is. Thanks for your asking your question, Dinesh. What about Forex? I don't trade Forex. What about Fox? Oh, I have no idea. I have no idea what Fox trader. All right, uh, so, so let's see the examples. Remember that uh, the BB bands are overlay indicators. They go over your, your charts. So let's do a quick swing eye, swing low recap. This is very important because if you don't know this, you will not learn anything. So uh, remember guys, when the markets go up and it comes down, this is a swing high. Remember markets go up, they come down. That turning point is the swing high. Markets go up, they come down, that's the swing point, right? That's called a swing high, S H, swing high. And the opposite is also true. So when the markets go down and reverse, that lowest point is called the swing low, right? Very, very simple. It's basically support and resistance, what we are taught when we first learn how to. Swing highs do you see here? Please put in your answers. Your time start now. Count. How many swing highs? Put in your answer. Press the enter button. Everyone should know this. This is basics of trading. How many swing highs do you see in front of you? Push in your answer very quickly. Seduraj, uh, swing high and swing low are not the same as pivot points. Those are different. Pivot points are based on calculations, also called Camarilla points. They're different. Gaurav Karna says, for Gaurav Ji, I know you're a pro trader. Thank you so much for uh, answering the question. <laughs> Satish, for okay, all the smart traders replying, for that's right. Very simple. Good job, Rupali. Uh, so you have one, two, three, and four. Perfect. And so here's what you've got to do, okay? Let me show you the rules now. Everyone understands swing high, swing low? No, no problem, right? Pretty simple. Let me show you. Um, so here I, I was supposed to show you the advanced class, but I've shown you a few times. So I'll skip this. This is rule number one. Price must pierce a band, okay? Like this. Price must actually pierce the upper band. Once this happens, this should actually be here. Okay. Sorry about that. Let me here. So once price pierces the upper band, rule two is you will sell the swing low break. So when this happens, this is going to be your selling point and your short, right? This is your shorting technique. Uh, but we are actually going to do the opposite. Uh, we are going to actually trade when the markets pierce the lower band. So let me change this. Rule one must pierce the band to this. Let me show you how easy it is when I make these webinars. Markets are here and this becomes a lower pierce, right? This is your lower pierce. I'll change the color to um, red. There it is. Everyone got it? This is when the markets have actually pierced the lower band, okay? As soon as this happens, what you need is you need a swing high to form. So let me show you what a swing high looks like. Uh, copy this. This is the most important part of trading, right? To actually um, realize what is your swing high and swing low. This is your basic, uh, basic, basic thing that you need. So here, let's suppose the market then, you know, went up, gapped up. Let's change this color to like this. So you have a swing high, let's say one more bar uh, went up and then the next bar went down uh, like that. All right. So this is actually rule number two and, and rule number two is 
you buy the swing high, right? This is the, this is the most important part. So let me copy this as well. Perfect. So at this point, this is the swing high and you'll buy here. So the next day if the market reverses and we go up, I'm sorry, I'll go over text here. So this is the point you'll actually buy. So step number one is you break this, you break the, you pierce the lower Bollinger band, then a swing high forms, you buy that swing high. Let's see a few examples. Um, let me open some examples over here about Maruti. Let me open this. In fact, I have Tata Motors open. Let me show you Tata Motors. So on investing.com, I have this. What I need to do is I need to add the indicator. Bollinger uh, bands, perfect. Great, so let's zoom in a bit over here. Now I need some help. Uh, Satish, everyone's ready, yes? Sure. Uh, so Mr. Gaurav actually attended the advanced class. Gaurav, can you write in uh, some lines of what you thought of the advanced webinar? Uh, Nandlal is saying, can this be applied uh, for intraday trading? Um, you can, but the success ratio is actually low. So in the free webinars, Nandal, we actually discuss swing trading because that's popular. Uh, because intraday trading requires a little more time to explain, we do that on Saturdays in the advanced ones. So yeah. Now, I have one question for everyone. Do you all agree that uh, rule number one has been met over here? You see that the lower Bollinger band has been pierced. Do you all agree with that? Do you all agree? <clears throat> Naresh says 90% of retail traders fail. Yes, that's completely true, Ranesh. Yes, agreed. The second point is we have a swing high over here and then a swing high here. So you would have actually bought this. I'll put a B over here. You would have bought this breakout of it. Do you agree with that? <clears throat> Does everyone agree with that? Yes, okay. Can you tell me where the stop loss will be over here? Any idea? If you're buying the swing high, stop loss kaha hoga? Aap swing high agar khaizde, stop loss kaha hoga? Any ideas? Swing low, yes, that's right. Yes, that's right. right. The swing low candle, so as you can see, you can keep your stop loss. Either here or here, whatever works. Um, and you'll hold on. Now, let me see if this actually broke the swing low or not. So. The low is 374.4, uh, 374.05, perfect. <clears throat> so I have a question for everyone over here. When you are trading um, any stock and you have to put a stop loss, okay, you will always give a half a rupee filter to it, right? 50 pesa filter to it. So if the stop loss is 100, uh, 100, 100 rupees, right? If the swing low is 100 rupees, where will your stop loss be? Let's say the swing low is 100 rupees, 99.5. Yes, that's right. This is called a filter, right? It's a very small amount. It's a small filter. You got to be this 99.5. Wonderful, very nice. Good job. Always, always use a filter. Perfect. Um, so you have the entry and the market will go sideways. Uh, did it work out in this case? Did the markets go up? Yes irrespective of the value. So very good question, Satish. Generally, it's it's 50 paisa for any stock. So if it's a 500 rupee stock, it'll be 50 paisa. Uh, if it's a 1,000 rupee stock, it'll be 1 rupee. So 0.1%, right? That's what you're looking at. Yeah. So, so in this case, it actually worked out pretty well. Um, and that's the only trade in Tata Motors that you actually had uh, for this time. So that's one example of how you can use Bollinger Bands. Um, I'll show you one more example, Adani Ports. Let's see how this went. Here, click Adani Ports. Perfect. All right, great. So I need your help again, guys, because I tend to get a little confused. <laughs> uh, we have um, the market piercing this. Does everyone agree that we have pierced the lower Bullinger band? No problem, Satish ji. Everyone agrees the lower Bollinger band has been uh, has been pierced. 
can you guys please type pretty quickly so I know you're hearing me? Okay, perfect. Yes. Two places we have. Yes, 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 yes. Everyone's typed yes. And formed a hammer. <laughs> yes, Gaurav. Yes, absolutely right. So Gaurav is one of our advanced course guys here. So is Seduraj and Satish, Shamsundar. Who else? Um, some bunch of guys have been. Ajit Yadav. Uh, there's a bunch of guys over here that I see a lot in our advanced courses as well I, and I know them for a long time so it's nice to see um, you all here. So in this case yes we have the lower Bollinger Band Pierce. Can anyone tell me where the swing high is and what price it's formed at? Any ideas guys? Where is the swing high? Please type in your answers. I want to see where you spot the swing, swing high to be. After this Pierce where was the swing high? Where would you have bought? Give me the price. You can see price here, estimate the value. Gaurav Kalra says just before 390. <laughs> Wonderful. Does, do you all agree? 415, some people are saying 415. Baap re, ye hai? 415, okay. 400, Indrajit says 415, Alpesh says 400. Okay. 400, okay. 390, 390. Okay, so they're actually, um, how can we get recording of advanced course? So Arun, what you can do is you can, um, you can send an email to um, TradeSmart online and what they'll do is uh, they'll ask for the payment and they can send you the recording. You can actually do that Arun, okay? So send an email and you can, you can buy the recording as well. So there are actually two, the proper swing high is right here actually. But if you can't see it, then the next swing high would be here. Okay. So both are correct. 410 is also correct. 390 is also correct. But if you can actually see this swing high, then you know, your entry would be here. This is a good entry. Uh, but even this is correct. If you don't see it, this is also right. No problem. So, so yeah, Arun Mahato, here is the uh, information Puneet has given us. Right? So just follow that. Perfect. So, so that's your, uh, that's your, this thing. So I have a small, uh, small thing to announce. Can I do it right now? If you don't mind, can I do that right now? Anyone over here who doesn't have a brokerage account? Anyone over here who does any new guys who don't have a brokerage account or want to shift? Puneet, what's the cost of, um, of per trade on TradeSmart Online? So uh, we actually have a referral program. Uh, Sandeep and Puneet told me about today. So I'm going to tell you, do they have API services? Good question. Uh, do they have API services? Puneet, do you have API services? I don't think so. Uh, that's right. Uh, Trace online charges 15 rupees. Yep, that's right. Uh, in case you're looking to open an account um, and or you, what you can do is you can ask your friend to open an account. If he just opens the account, uh, it's 100 rupees directly to your bank account as referral fees. 50% of all the brokerage that your friend generates will be sent to you for the first month. So that's pretty cool. If someone trades, um, maybe say it four times a day, every day, a few thousand rupees of earnings go to you for, um, for barely doing anything. And after that, it's 10% lifetime. So uh, they'll be sending uh, 50 random people from you uh, this link of the referral program. And it also contains another goodie. So open that email. Uh, and you'll be able to find out more about this service. All right, let's go back to our recent trades uh, and do check out the email. Uh, it's called a gift for you uh, from TradeSmart Online after this webinar. You, pr you probably got it in your email boxes right now. Next, I want to show you some more recent trades. One is Axis Bank. Let's open this up. Axis Bank, here it is. Perfect. Thanks Gaurav Kalra for making me type over here and not over here. <laughs> okay, wonderful. So guys, uh, can, who can tell me what's the entry point in the last few days? Anyone? What is the entry point in the last few days? Can anyone help me? I won't tell you where the bar pierced the lower BB. I won't tell you the entry point. Who can tell me the price? Please give me a good answer. Gaurav Kalra got it. Aditya got it. Indrajit Datta got it. Ajit, that's the incorrect answer. Try again. Arun Mato got it. Ravi got it. Sedhu Raj got it. <laughs> Wonderful. Everyone got it. 
Rupali, that's an incorrect answer. Try again, please. Uh, so here it is. Uh, rule number one, we broke the lower Bollinger Band. This is your swing high you would have bought here. Whoopee. And after this, you would have gone for a nice chumpy massage at your barber store because that's what traders do when they have nothing to do and the markets are going up. I saw something very interesting. I uh, you a true thing. Honestly, you make money when you're doing nothing. We learn this from childhood. You have to do it. You have to do it. You have to do it. In trading, it is true that you have to do it to create the strategy. It, it's, it's very tedious to create the strategy. I, I completely agree. But once you have the strategy, you are basically jobless. Um, I spend less than 10 minutes a day on my trading account. And I post all my trades. I have been posting all my trades publicly with profit and loss for the last three, four months. I think Satish has seen them, Sejuraj has seen them, Ajit, Indrajit, these guys. Not Indrajit, not Indrajit. Uh, who else? Bunch of people over here have seen them. You've seen it, right? Um, and yeah, <laughs> yeah, thank you. The only reason I do it is to show that these trades are real and all you need to do is follow the plan. Trading is boring. That's the truth, right? Uh, Aditya is saying, where will the stop loss be? Wonderful. 480-ish? Yes, Aditya, absolutely right. The low over here, that's going to be your stop loss. Remember, 99% of your money is going to come when you're not doing anything. Jitna chhed khani karoge, entry, exit, ye wo, the more you lose money. Don't do that, man. Enter, trail your stop loss, relax. If you get stopped out, who cares, man? Relax. If you make money, fantastic. Go celebrate. But your job is to be detached. Buddhism padai, na? Emotionless detachment. That's what you have to do with trading. We should write a book together called the Zen of Trading, and that's what it will be. Right? You can start some portfolio services. That's actually true, Sedhuraj, but I will never do it because then I've given control to other people, right? Um, and the kind of returns my, my portfolio sees, people won't be able to even believe it. People close to me don't believe it. I do double digit returns on most months. Sometimes it's a loss month. I think maybe two months in a year is loss month, maybe sometimes three, uh, but generally it's double digit every month, right? Uh, but I would never manage anyone else's money. I'm happy managing my own money. So uh, Dinesh says, sir, I think we should have a target point. Uh, yes, you can. Uh, you can, Dinesh. So one option is you uh, aim for 6% in a single trade. Yes, you can do that. Um, or you can actually trail your stop loss to the latest swing loss. So trail it here, trail it here, and eventually get stopped out, you know. Um, Sukesh Zade says, how are you calculating swing high? Same doubt I got in RSI. Um, nothing, Dinesh, is just visual, right? So market goes up, thumbs down. Here the market went up, and then it came down. Um, as soon as this bar completes, this is the highest point, right? See, market went up and came down. So that's a swing high. That's it. Nothing, uh, nothing special. So I have some homework for all of you. Uh, I think you've all learned this strategy pretty well. Uh, we have Bank of Baroda, Hindalco, Hindustan Unilever. Can you all write this down? Bank of Baroda, Hindu, Hindalco, Hindustan Unilever. Um, and I need you to do me a favor. Uh, do it for me now. Facebook. Trade smart online. So here's what you guys need to do. Um, you need to go to uh, Trade Smart Online's Facebook page. Go there. Uh, write a review if possible on what you think uh, is the um, what do you think is the webinars you've taken so far. If you've enjoyed your webinars, please write four or five uh, words of appreciation that you liked. Pratik Sir's webinar, Puneet, whatever. Uh, and can you review us? Can I ask you to do this, please? Uh, just a small review, maybe even five, six words. Uh, you know, give five stars if you like the webinar so far. It will really mean a lot to me. Uh, it will vindicate everything. So uh, try doing that. I will really, really like it. Um, so give us that five star rating over there. And don't forget to attend tomorrow's class, guys. Uh, where is it gone? Uh, slash webinar, right? So tomorrow's class, we are having uh, this over here. We will be discussing Bink Nifty and Bank Nifty gap strategy. If it's at 7 o'clock, it's going to be taken by Ashwin. You will love him because I love him too. <laughs> Thank you, Satish ji. 
Um, just two requests I have from you. Check the email box from TradeSmart Online. Uh, register for the advanced course that's happening next week and re give us five star reviews on Facebook so you know, uh, so we know that you liked it. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time, guys. Take care. Goodbye, Shabakar. Talk to you soon. Uh, and I hope this week is profitable for you. Goodbye. And yes, you will get recording of this, rec uh, of this webinar in the next six hours in your email box. Thank you. Goodbye.